Hello, I'm Sir Fuxord. This tutorial will show you how to make a sushi belt feeder for your laboratories. I know there's probably other tutorials out there already, some may arrive at the same result using different methods than what I'll be showing here, and some may use the same solution that I came up with. It's simple really, and uses three components. The first I'll tell you about is the memory cell. The memory cell is created using the decider combinator. To do this, we're going to create a feedback loop into itself using a red wire. As a result of this, any information coming into the combinator will then be fed back into itself infinitely. Then we're going to set a condition for allowing the memory cell to be active or not. When not active, it will forget everything. We're going to set the condition to, if fish equals zero, output everything, input count. Resulting in the memory cell storing all input data if there is no fish signal, which it will never receive, so it will remember the data indefinitely. Now we will move on to the dispenser. The data we send to the memory cell will be sent using pulses. We will use the belts to read what's being dispensed onto the carousel and send the pulse data to the memory cell to be stored. We will also use the belt to decide how many of each item we want to allow onto the carousel at once, using the enable disable ability. To set up the dispenser you need to connect the belts to the memory cell and then set the belts conditions to read a pulse and enable disable if item is less than X, in this case it is science packs and we will be using a value of 10 for this example. But the bigger your carousel is, the bigger you want this number to be. Now that it's done, you can see that the belts have allowed some items to reach the carousel. Don't forget to set the conditions on the rest of the belts for each corresponding item. At this stage, we will talk about the third and final component, the subtractor. Items are going to be removed from the carousel and fed to your laboratories. When this happens your memory cell needs to know about it, so that it can update the amount of items actually still on the carousel and send the updated signal to the dispenser, which will then decide which items need to be topped up. This is where we use the arithmetic combinator to subtract items that are being used. To do this we set the condition of the combinator to input each multiplied by minus one output each. This will take any signal coming in and convert the number to a negative value. We send that negative value to the memory cell. The data used for the input to the arithmetic combinator comes from the inserters, which is the final step. We simply set the conditions of the inserter to read pulse and copy that to all the others. Now the inserters have no rules for working or not, they just read what they take from the carousel, send the data through the subtractor which sends a negative signal to the memory cell, which updates itself and updates the dispenser on the current number of items remaining on the carousel. That concludes the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching.